It's August and this is the Library Road Show. On the show today, genealogy, antiques, and everyone's political fantasy, Game of Thrones. All that and more coming up on the Library Road Show. Welcome to the August edition of the Library Roadshow. I'm Mary Stein and this is a production of your East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. We've had a summer full of wonderful performers and amazing workshops for kids and teens. And even the adults got their share of great programming with the legal genealogist, reenactor Bob Rogers, and the Multicultural Fest. And there's still time to complete those summer reading logs and turn them in. We'd really like to demonstrate that Baton Rouge can be a reading community. And while the immediate goal of the summer reading program is to stop the summer slide, kids really do practice what they see. So everyone in the family needs to read, 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 and read even more. And as you start getting those backpacks ready for the fall semester, don't forget that your library offers a host of resources for homework help. We've got the books, the magazines, the reference sources, and the digital resources to get you through another school year. Some of our favorites, Homework Louisiana connects you online to a live tutor for whatever topic and grade level you need. Learning Express has practice tests for every grade and subject and videos to demonstrate those tricky math problems. Literature papers are a breeze when you use Gale's Literature Resource Center and Access Science covers all the basics. Opposing viewpoints and Statista help round out any debate topic and we have complete digital back files of things like the New York Times, the National Geographic, the Advocate and Times Picayune newspapers. I recommend you use the Explora and Artemis search aggregators to help round up your resources in the Gale and EBSCO lines, and then use the library's subject suggestions and info guides to deepen your search. But don't forget, your number one search engine, your librarian. Free access to books, audio, and library resources are just a few of the benefits available to you when you get a library card. Need free access to a computer? You get that. Want free access to premium digital resources like Mango Languages and Lynda.com? You get that. Need to book a meeting space? You get that. Heck, you can even check out a telescope or use a digital printer with your library card. If you live in East Baton Rouge Parish, pick up your free library card from your local branch library today. Premium access to everything the library system has to offer is waiting for you. In that lull between summer vacation and Labor Day, restless moms start cleaning out closets, and who knows what they'll find. If you're on a mission to organize and purge, really purge, keep your eyes open for items of value. The library has just the thing to help you separate the good stuff from the candidates for the trash pile and stop you from throwing the wrong thing away. Adam St. Pierre joins us now to explain in the digital down low. Are you an antique roadshow fanatic? Do you have tons of stuff just laying around in your attic and wonder if it has any value? Then you need to check out the library's premier online antiques research tool in Prices for Antiques Reference or P4A. P4A Antiques Reference is comprised of data from over 140 auction houses on how particular items were sold and more importantly, how much they were sold for. P4A Antiques Reference Center also has over 1,300 types of items in its holdings and is frequently used by auction houses to price antiques over some reference materials. You can find items by category, type, country of origin, and even by auction house. So whether you're looking for glassware, dolls, bottles, or even antique firearms, P4 Antiques Reference has got you covered. And it's all free with just your library card. To check out P4 Antiques Reference, head over to the digital library page at ebrpl.com. 
Thanks, Adam. See, there's no need to suffer from cleaner's remorse. Just play around in the library's P4A Antiques database. I guarantee that once you start, you won't stop. It's just fun to browse through the various categories, everything from carnival glass to movie props. And of course, the library has thousands of books, price guides, and magazines covering all sorts of antiques and collectibles. Check it out. Let's shift gears and check in with Kayla Perkins reporting in from Beyond the Stacks. When I was a kid, I had my favorite authors, and I'm sure you did too. But did you ever get a chance to meet them? Your East Baton Rouge Parish Library makes that a reality for kids and teens by bringing popular authors like this. Hey teens, if you love paranormal romance or Star Wars, you'll love this author. We're here at the Main Library at Goodwood to chat with young adult author Claudia Gray. Why paranormal romance? Why not paranormal romance? I mean, I've always liked anything that's weird or paranormal or science fiction. Uh, basically anything more interesting than real life, I am into. Claudia Gray is a popular young adult author. She is best known for her Spellcaster series, her Firebird series of books, and most recently, her Star Wars titles. Bloodline is my most recent book. It's a Star Wars book. It differs the most from the others in that it is for adults. Uh, I mean, I think younger people can read it and enjoy it. I've certainly gotten a lot of good feedback from younger readers, but uh, it is about Princess Leia becoming General Leia. She's in her 40s. You know, she's lived long enough to sort of see the impact of some of her decisions and uh, it's a slightly different viewpoint. You look at things in a slightly different way. A lot of authors write under a pen name. That's true for Claudia. We asked her, why Claudia Gray? You know, I wish I had some incredible story to tell you about this, but the truth is when I was a little kid and I learned that some people wrote books under other names, I thought, that's cool. I will do that if I ever get the chance. And sure enough, the first chance I had, I did it. Uh, everybody should get to name themselves once. It's kind of liberating. Teen readers are the best. I mean, there's been so much wonderful feedback over the years. Um, you know, in a lot of ways, I don't try to relate, you know, mm -hmm. like, hey, kids, I am young and hip as you are. I have <laughs> Pokemon Go on my phone. Yeah, I do, but that's another story. Um, <laughs> But I really just try to remember what it feels like to be 16. And the thing is, I feel like most of us do carry that with us for a really long time. Claudia came to the main library at Goodwood to speak in person to local fans. Programs like this bring reading to life for our younger readers. Reading is fun. This is awesome. This is an enjoyable activity. Yeah. And sure enough, when you see young readers and they find that book that they get hooked into, they come back and come back and come back and they are coming back to enjoy themselves. Right. And uh, I think a thing like this here at the library helps set that up. I think it sort of creates the idea that it is fun, that you do get to have fun talking with people and engaging with this, yeah. you know, with a group and that there are other people that are into that too. Um, and maybe talking with a writer sort of makes it seem like something that's not so very different and far away. It really is just kind of one person telling a story to another person. And there you have it. We've got awesome authors coming to the library all the time. To find out who's coming here next, pick up a copy of the Source newsletter or visit us online at www.ebrpl.com. The main library at Goodwood, like many of our regional branches, has a dedicated space just for teens. It's a safe place to study and spend time with friends. Come spend some time at the library this fall. Mary? Thanks, Kayla. Our teen librarian said that Claudia Gray has proven to be one of their favorite authors to speak ever. She really connected with the crowd. And I'm not saying that just because I'm a Star Wars fan. Some authors are just natural born storytellers. Stay right there. After the break, Adam St. Pierre comes back to join me for a little chat right here on the Library Roadshow. What's cooler than having a library card? Well, just about nothing. With a library card, a world of possibilities open up. Get access to online education, cultural workshops, and a lot more. Sign up today and discover what the card can do for you. East Baton Rouge Parish Library. Discover more. This is the story of a boy who was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help. And slowly, he learned how to live with it better. 
Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at AutismSpeaks.org. Thousands of individuals with disabilities live in the greater Baton Rouge area. These are loving people that need extra care and support to thrive. Families Helping Families is a nonprofit organization based in Baton Rouge that exists to support individuals with disabilities in your neighborhood. Families Helping Families serve the needs of individuals with all disabilities, regardless of age, race, or ethnic origin. Our services are free thanks to donations from people like you. Please donate today. You're watching the August edition of the Library Roadshow, everything you need to know about your local library system. Now, normally, we keep Adam St. Pierre pinned down in the digital library, but today I need him to put on his other hat as a programming librarian for the 20 something set at the library. So, Adam, I hear you have something really special planned for an August after hours event at the main library. We do. We've got a great Game of Thrones extravaganza uh, after hours that's happening. And uh, we'll have some some jou uh, some pool noodle jousting. We'll have a little bit of trivia. We'll have the Society of Creative Anachronism that we're partnering with, and they're going to be doing some period dancing and some fighting demos and all sorts of fun stuff. So it should be a good time. It, it should be. Now, why Game of Thrones? What what is the what is the attraction of Game of Thrones? Well, Game of Thrones is kind of where this whole 20 somethings thing started. We wanted to do programming for teens, but mm, that doesn't really work with Game of Thrones if you've seen the show. It's an adult show. It is, but um, we, we started reaching out to a new demographic mm -hmm. and it's just so popular. Everywhere right. you look, there's Game of Thrones uh, bobbleheads, there's Game of Thrones uh, mugs, it's just, it's everywhere. Tattoos, trivia, you name it. Yep. Um, so. so the 20-somethings group basically exists to provide programming for the group in between the teens and the seniors, in between, uh, in between teens and baby boomers. Yes. So on August the 12th, it's, yes. a, it's a Friday night. Yes, it's a Friday night. And we made sure to not have it near a, a, an LSU game. So that, that's right. Plenty, plenty of uh, <laughs> you got plenty of space, and this will take place. The library closes at six, but will reopen a little bit before seven to let in the Society for Creative Anachronism and all of our eager Game of Throners. We will, we will, and we also have a couple of food trucks that are coming by to. Uh, feed all of our hungry people that will be showing up. That's right, and of course there will be some refreshing beverages and yes. such uh, on hand at the library. Who should come? Uh, th this is sponsored by the 20-somethings, but this is w open to all adults. So okay. if uh, you know, you're know you someone in that age range or you want to bring your kids, you can bring your kids as well. We might just um, get them to participate with other kids if, if that happens. That's right, yeah. because we want to make a good social experience for, for everyone that attends. Mm -hmm. And there will, we will actually not be showing Game of Thrones. I want to make that very no, clear. No, so there no, will be no, no Game blood. Of Thro no, no blood, no, 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 <laughs> no, red, no wedding. red wedding or any of that. <laughs> and how do you dress for this event? Well, because I have a crown. If you want to show up in period attire, Go for oh, it. Oh, I think you should. You should definitely do so, but we're not requiring you to. Okay, and is it free? It's definitely free. All right, well, thanks, Adam. I really am going to dig out my tiara for this event uh, because, you know, as a big sci-fi and fantasy fan, I've got that covered. <laughs> um, after the break, we're coming up with Dr. Lori Martin. Plus, we have book reviews from some of our youngest library patrons. All that and more coming up next on the Library Roadshow. Right, mi cariño. So like I said, everything I learned about cooking, I learned from grandma's empanadas. Shall we go again? Yep. Mix beef with the onions, the onions with the peppers, the peppers with the paprika, the paprika, the garlic, the garlic with the oregano, the oregano with the cumin. Got it? Got it. Throw in the olives, stir, season, stir again, pour out the flour, roll out the dough, make a circle, drop in a fistful of filling, fold over, press down, and ta-da! Hmm. Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes. But two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier, and it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain.
ballerina. <laughs> Sometimes all it takes to be a dad is remembering how to be a kid again. <laughs> Take time to be a dad today. As an American, it's hard to hear that we have a serious hunger issue in our country. And as a parent, it's even harder to hear that one in five of our kids struggles with hunger, especially when billions of pounds of good food are wasted every year. Feeding America is a nationwide network of food banks that helps provide billions of meals to families in need right in your community. Visit feedingamerica.org to support Feeding America and your local food bank. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. Welcome back to the August edition of the Library Roadshow. In 1953, Baton Rouge was the site of the very first bus boycott in America. In 1960, the Southern 16 staged a peaceful sit-in at the Crest Building downtown. And Baton Rouge was home to such powerful and effective civil rights leaders as A.P. Thoreau and the Reverend T.J. Jamison. Dr. Lori Martin, Associate Professor of Sociology at LSU, joins me now to shed a little more light on important highlights of Baton Rouge's civil rights history. Dr. Martin, you recently founded the African American Historical Society of Baton Rouge. Can you tell us what led to this establishment? I established the African American Historical Society of Baton Rouge in response to an interest in preserving the history of African Americans in the capital city. I relocated to Baton Rouge in 2013 to take a position at Louisiana State University. When I first arrived in Baton Rouge, I visited a number of museums hoping to get a better understanding about the history and culture of my new city. I was surprised at the underrepresentation of people of color in the exhibits I visited. I started asking people that I encountered whether or not there was a historical society devoted to African American history in Baton Rouge, and the answer was no. A few years later, I decided to incorporate the African American Historical Society of Baton Rouge to preserve the history of people of African ancestry in the capital city. Tell us about the Toni Morrison Bench Project. The Toni Morrison Bench Project was established in 2006. It was established by the Toni Morrison Society. The society is made up of scholars who appreciate and study the works of Toni Morrison. On the occasion of her 75th birthday in 2006, the, a small group decided to launch the Bench by the Road project. They drew inspiration from a 1989 interview Toni Morrison gave about her book, Beloved. In the interview, she reflected on the fact that there were no monuments, no large towers, not even a bench by the road where people could sit and reflect on the struggles of African Americans and of people of African descent throughout the globe. The Toni Morrison Society Bench Project, Bench by the Road Project, recognizes historical places around the globe and they selected Baton Rouge as uh, the most recent site. The Bench Project will honor the 1953 bus boycott. Dr. Martin, what do you see as some of the most interesting events in Baton Rouge African American history? Baton Rouge is rich with African American history, whether we're talking about Scotlandville, Eden Park, or South Baton Rouge. I think some of the most interesting events include the 1953 bus boycott, the story of Brooks Park, as well as the uh, Crest sit-ins. Dr. Martin, if people are interested in joining the African American Historical Society of Baton Rouge, how do they get in touch with you? BR is in Baton Rouge, BR, Black Heritage, at gmail.com, or they can call 225-444-2650. Thank you. Thanks so much, Dr. Martin. 
To learn more, get started with the library's own Civil Rights and Baton Rouge History Info Guides. Then check out the digital archive for fascinating glimpses of the past. And we've checked in with some local kids to find out what they're reading. My name is Gianna. This is my favorite book, and it's fun. This is Buzz. This is Fly Guy. He was imagining of himself being a prince. Mm -hmm. Then, then riding a horse. And then Buzz and Fly Guy were making a story. And then this is him kissing a frog. Then a giant jumped into his castle. The girl threw the crown, then um, it, it hit the giant in, on the nose. Then the giant said, ouch, 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 I'm running away. Who brought you to the library today? My mom. And what is it you like about the library? It has lots of books. How many books does it have? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Drianna. Keep those pages turning. It's not too late to turn in your summer reading logs. Stay right there. You're watching the Library Road Show. Do you wonder how your family landed here? Do you really know your family roots? Discover more about your family history at the East Baton Rouge Parish Library Genealogy Department. East Baton Rouge Parish Library. Become a member and discover more. I guess sometimes things just happen. Devastating things. Your whole world changes in an instant. That's what happened to me the day my mother had a stroke. I'm Paul George, and I want you to spot a stroke fast. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. T, time to call 911. Protect the ones you love. Spot a stroke fast. A single ember that escapes from a wildfire can travel more than a mile. That single ember can ignite and destroy your home or even your community. You can't control where the ember will land, only what happens when it does. Get Fire Adapted now at fireadapted.org. My name is Melissa Easton, and I'm head of the Special Collections Department of the East Baton Rouge Parish Library, located on the second floor of the main library at Goodwood, where Baton Rouge history comes alive. The East Baton Rouge Parish Library Special Collections Department is a great place to research the African-American history of our area. Our Archives Department has collections that reflect the diverse and rich part of our cultural heritage, including photos, music, and textiles. We are currently home to the Louisiana Black History Hall of Fame collection during the renovation of the historic Lincoln Theater. We also house the personal papers of Pastor Darlene Moore, the first female pastor of Camphor United Memorial Methodist Church here in Baton Rouge. We have a wide variety of yearbooks from African American schools, artworks, and even a selection of African-American Baton Rouge newspapers. You can also research your African-American genealogy in our department. We have many print and online resources that can help you uncover your family history. We have a large collection of microfilms that focuses on the American slave trade and Southern plantations from pre-war to the Great Migration. If you would like to learn more, we also offer classes on researching your African-American genealogy, or you can come in and visit us today. Learn more about this and many other historical topics at the Baton Rouge Room Archive, located inside the Special Collections Department in the main library at Goodwood, where Baton Rouge history comes alive. You're watching the August edition of the Library Roadshow, a production of your East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. I am constantly amazed at what's been gathered together here at the library. And while the photographs, the scrapbooks, the oral histories and artifacts are really cool, the real treasure here is the staff of Special Collections. They research, teach, preserve, produce great programs, and most of all, provide access and share what they know. It's all available at the main library at Goodwood, and it's all free with your East Baton Rouge Parish Library card.
To get your pages turning this month, I have a great selection of tales to get us ready to leave the beach and settle in for the upcoming school year. First up is Homegoing by Yaguasa. This formidable epic novel begins with two African sisters who experience life during the slave trade, but differently. One is taken as a wife by a white Englishman and remains in Ghana, while the other is sold into slavery and shipped to America. The novel follows the descendants of the sisters as they grow up on two different continents over the next 300 years. Beautifully moving and haunting, this is a perfectly rewarding read to dig into on that last minute summer vacation. In another work, Terry McMillan delivers another entertaining story of female friendship, love, and self-discovery. And I almost forgot about our hero, Dr. Georgia Young. She's a 54-year-old optometrist who is motivated to sell her practice, travel across the country, and rediscover her dreams with a chance at love along the way. A heartwarming story of an individual's ability to change her life at any age. It's filled with a steamy scene or two, and Macmillan's imagery really delivers. And finally, there's Jojo Moyes' sleeper hit, Me Before You. The abridged plot of Me Before You is this. A small town girl from the English countryside, her name's Louisa, she gets fired from her job and in a fit of desperation becomes a caregiver for a handsome former master of the universe, Will, who is paralyzed from the neck down. He's jaded, rude, and pretentious. She's zany, chatty, and kind. At first they clash, but then they fall in love. She teaches him to find slivers of joy in his existence. He teaches her to expand her horizon. To avoid a major spoiler alert, suffice it to say, things get very complicated. The film, which hit theaters earlier this summer, stars Emilia Clarke and Sam Claffin in the titular roles. I suggest plenty of tissues, Bluebell's newest ice cream flavor, and all of the wine. And that's how the page turns. Thanks, Tamika. I've been visiting Italy in my dreams as I read the latest book in the wonderful mystery series by Donna Leone. Commissario Guido Brunetti and I have a lot of work to do to keep the streets and canals of Venice safe. And now for today's contest, visit the library's Facebook page at facebook.com slash ebrpl. Show off those completed summer reading logs. Now you know I want to break last year's record, so keep reading and finish strong. And remember, everyone in the family can read. I want to see filled out book logs, lots and lots of book logs. That's facebook.com slash ebrpl. And while you're there, enjoy. We are not your grandfather's library anymore. What's coming up on the Library Roadshow next month? We're getting ready for our third Baton Rouge Mini Maker Fair. Tune in next month and I'll highlight one of our awesome library programs. Coming next month, I'll share another digital resource with you. And I'm loading up the bookmobile for back to school visits. Thanks for joining us on the Library Roadshow. And remember, your East Baton Rouge Parish Library is open seven days a week at each and every one of 14 conveniently located branches, plus 24-7 on the web. Check us out at ebrpl.com. Let's have a roll.